Welcome everyone, Mistaken Silence here, bringing you another edition of Star Trek Fleet Command in-game tutorials. It's been a couple weeks since I've released a video, but you know, we had a new arc drop, and whenever there's a new arc, there's a lot of videos from other content creators going on, and, and, and everyone just really wants to know exactly how the new arc works, and you know, some of the ins and outs and what to look for, so... I figured I would give it a break. Plus, just let's be honest, I wanted to be playing the game as well. So when trying to figure out what exactly to do for this week's video, I decided let's get back to the basics. The basic things that I wish I had understood when I started playing and things that would have helped me as well as some other players I've chatted with, what would have helped us understand and grasp the game just a bit more. Some of that includes understanding what mitigation is, how it works, and how it relates to the damage you take to your hull and your shield health. Also, we're going to take a look at exactly how to read a combat log. Not just a combat log involving only you and a hostile, or maybe you and a PvP opponent, but understanding how to read an armada battle log, because there's a lot going on. So understanding what you're looking at can really help you become a better player. But before we get into that, let me remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. Make sure you give that little thumb a click because it helps me and makes me feel better knowing that you enjoy what you're watching. So, let's start with talking about what happens when your ship gets hit by a hostile or another player, or during some armada. There's this really cool little thing called mitigation. That's actually the very first thing that happens. So if we go over what exactly mitigation means, mitigation means reducing the risk of the loss from the occurrence of any undesirable event. In this case, getting hit by an opponent would be an undesirable event. Taking damage from a PvP player or like I said, an armada or a hostile is something that's undesirable. So mitigation is the very first thing that happens whenever you're struck by an opponent. If you take a look at this picture here, you'll see where I've highlighted red around the Enterprise. And I didn't just do this because red's my favorite color, but I did it because red generally means stop. Whenever you're being struck by an opponent, mitigation is what happens first. It says stop, hold on, before you even make it to the ship or the shields, I'm going to go ahead and take away some of this damage. And what's causing this is the officers you have on the ship as well as the ship ability, but mainly the officers that you have on the ship. And we'll go over in a different video exactly what those mitigations officers are. But for now, I just kind of want to give you an idea of how it works. So that way you can at least understand it when you see it in a log. Let's go ahead and take a look at this next image. You'll notice that I highlighted yellow around the Enterprise this time. And in my head, that represents a shield for some reason. And I don't, I don't know why, but it made sense to me. And that's going to be the next step in the attack on your ship. We've already had an amount of damage mitigated. And now, whatever's left is going to be divided between your shields and your hull. As you can see, your shield is going to receive 80% of the remaining damage after mitigation. Now, if we take a look at this next image, you'll notice there's nothing highlighted on it because we've already gone through the mitigation phase. We've already hit the shield. And now, the remaining damage is going to go against your hull. So you're going to take 20% of the remaining damage after mitigation towards your hull health. Let's take a look at this example just to make it a little clearer to understand. We're going to pretend that we're reading a combat log where you initially received a hit for 200,000 damage. And we're going to follow those steps that I just went over and we're going to stop, take a look at the mitigation amount that's going to come right off the top and that's going to be 100,000. That leaves another 100,000 to be divided by the shield and the hull. If you remember, I mentioned that the shield damage received is 80% of what the remaining amount after mitigation was. 
So in this particular example, that means 80,000 damage went towards your shield health. If you also remember, I mentioned that 20% of the remaining amount after mitigation goes towards your whole health. So in this particular example, 20,000 goes towards your whole health. And that's going to bring you to zero. So you're going to have the initial amount that's going to be stopped by mitigation. And that remaining amount, again, is going to be divided between your whole health and your shield health. So you may be asking, why exactly is this important? Why do I need to know this? Well, understanding what mitigation is and how it works with the hull and the shields is going to help you understand how to crew better. Because think of this. In this particular example, we had 100,000 that was taken off right at the top. Now that comes up to 50% mitigation. The maximum amount so far in this game is around 72%. So Let's say we had 72% of the 200,000. Well, that's 144,000 damage taken right off the top. So instead of having to divide 100,000 towards your shield and your health, you would only be looking at 56,000 in damage divided between your hull and your health. Imagine how much further in a battle you could actually go because you're, you're taking less damage each time you're hit. That is why it's important to understand what mitigation is and how to use it to your advantage. It's important to mention that how much your opponent mitigates is extremely important as well. Assume that the opponent that you're fighting is mitigating 72% of your shot, then that's less damage going to their shield and to their hull. Finding that perfect balance for your mitigation and your opponent's mitigation is one of the things that's really going to make you a successful player going forward. I want to go over this last thing about mitigation before I move along to combat logs. But you may have heard me mention just a moment ago the percentage of mitigation. So how exactly did I get that? Well, if we take a look, the mitigation percentage is obtained by dividing the mitigated amount along with the initial damage. Below is a screenshot of an armada that I ran earlier with my team. And you can see that Shadow's mitigated amount was 221,573. And we're going to divide that into what the actual initial damage taken was, which was 525,902. And that's going to make his mitigation roughly around 42%. If we take a look just below that, you can see my mitigation amount was 280,182 and the initial hit on my ship was 483,167, which gives me a mitigation amount of 58%. So that's just an example of, of how to calculate that. It's important because the higher mitigation you can get, the less damage that your shield and your hull is going to take. And the less damage that you take, the more likely you are to win a fight. It's as simple as that. Again, I'm not going to go over the mitigation officers right now. That's, that's more than I can get into this particular video because of lengthwise. But I will take time in a later video and actually go through which officers to use when you're really looking towards mitigation. I will give you just a quick hint though. If you do happen to get 5 of 10, that is, that's probably going to be your number one mitigation officer out there. And being able to use her in the captain chair is going to make a huge difference in many of your fights. And let's take a look at combat logs. Something you have to understand about combat logs is what takes place at the very beginning of that log. If you're not familiar with how officers work, some officers have abilities that activate due to something else. So let's say that if your ship is hit, then this officer activates for such and such. And then there's some officers who activate at the very beginning because their ability lasts the entire length of that battle. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this particular log. It's going to be from a Klingon hostile that I hit using my Kamari from the very first video. And you'll notice that Moreau's no fear ability gives us 70% to hostile penetration. 
that 70% is actually lasting the entire length of the battle, which is why it's there the first. It's not later on because it doesn't matter if the ship gets hit or doesn't, that ability is still there and it's still working, it's still activated. The second ability that's activated through the entire length of that battle is Chen's ability, Energy Absorber, 30% to energy damage dealt by enemy hostiles. Again, these two abilities are at the very beginning because they last the entire length of the battle. They're not dependent on something else happening to the ship in order to activate them. When we look at the next part of the log, you'll see that it's highlighted in red. And that means that you have received an attack from that opponent. Anytime you see numbers in red, that's an attack on your ship or a teammate's ship if you're in an armada. So you'll see on this first line that the Klingon ship dealt 3,000 668 damage to my ship. And if you remember from the first part of this video, that's broken down by the amount that's mitigated, the amount that the shield health receives, and the amount that the whole health receives. Next, you're going to see the damage that I actually dealt to that particular ship. You'll see that my Kamari, it dealt 45,883 damage. And then you'll notice over here on the right, the Klingon ship mitigated 28,554 of that damage. So that's right off the top. And then the remaining amount of damage is divided between the shield health and the whole health. As we move along through this particular part of the log, you'll see that there's actually a second hit from the Klingon ship, a second hit from my Kamari, the final hit from the Klingon ship, and then the third and final hit from my Kamari. The reason you're seeing those three particular hits is because the Kamari has three guns that fire the very first round. Each ship has its own firing pattern. With the Kamari, it has three guns, two of them being energy-based and one being kinetic-based. And the kinetic-based one actually takes two rounds to recharge. So in the second round, if you take a look, you'll see that there's one shot. Well, that one's going to be from energy weapon. And then a second shot for me. That's going to be the other energy weapon. And then you'll see that my weapon's actually charging. What that is, is the kinetic weapon, and it's recharging during that second round. That way, when the third round comes, it's ready to fire again. You'll notice in the third round, we've got one shot, so it's energy weapon, the second shot, the other energy weapon. And since that third weapon, which is the kinetic, recharged during the second round, it's now available to fire again at the end of the third round. This is about as far as I'm going to go in this particular combat log because we're just facing a hostile. There's only seven rounds and it's pretty much rinse and repeat as far as it goes through until the end. I would like to show you something interesting though. So let's back out of this part of the log where you're in the victory or defeat page. That's, that's what I like to call it. It kind of gives you an overview of what, what actually happened. So as you see, the Kamari won against the, the 39 level Klingon patrol. Here's a really cool thing. If you were to click on the lowercase i right in the middle of the screen above the versus little indicator there, you can access the details for your ship as well as your opponent's ship. You can take a look at things like what the damage per round is for each ship, uh, what the critical chance is or the critical damage percentage. You can take a look at what the shield deflection is or the dodge. Um, even the health bonus is the whole health, the shield health. Those things are really important to look at before you actually attack an enemy. That way you have an idea of what you're going up against. Or let's assume you lost the battle. You can kind of take a look at that and see, well, where were the numbers off? Where was this particular ship higher than I was? And then you can help kind of use that to recrew and, and just kind of test out and figure out what exactly is going to work best for that particular situation. The more you kind of understand and kind of dive into these things, the, the easier the game's going to look overall to you. Now that we have a grasp of the basics when looking at a simple combat log, let's take a look at one that's a little bit more complex. This is actually going to be an armada that I did earlier today. It's going to be myself and five other members from my alliance. If we take a look at the very beginning, again, these are going to be the officers um, or the captain maneuvers that are active the entire time. 
So at the very beginning, you'll see Duderson's Enterprise. He has Decius on there. So Reckless is going to be what the ability is. So plus 10% to accuracy and armor piercing and shield piercing. Next is going to be Shadow Nose Augur. It's going to be Charvenek with her ability. And then you're going to see something very interesting here. This is going to be my particular crew. So I had Kirk as captain, Spock, and Khan. This is where you're going to find something that looks a little bit tricky because there were actually other members of this armada who were running Kirk and Spock as well. But you only see one. Despite only seeing one, I can promise you that all of the other members who are running Kirk and Spock are also going to have their abilities activated as well. I did run another test after this one where the other member who was running Kirk and Spock started the Armada instead of myself. And in that particular log, it showed her as having Kirk and Spock activate. So it's dependent on who's actually starting the Armada and who actually has the crews. Now, let's go ahead and scroll through here and take a look. You'll see where everyone else's officers activated. And then there's the very first hit of the Armada, which is a hit on Duderson's Enterprise. You're going to see where the damage was dealt and where the damage was mitigated and he received the damage to the shield and to the hull, just like we've talked about earlier. And then you're going to see where my jellyfish, uh, its first gun, had two shots because that particular gun shoots twice. You're also going to see here where Ditterson dealt his damage. If you take a look here, Shadow's very first weapon, which is going to be the obliterator, it takes one round to actually charge. So it's going to charge before he ever gets to fire it. Also, uh, Kairos has the same thing. His auger is 100% charging because, again, it's charging that very first round. Ladies Enterprise is going to go ahead and hit for more damage. Then RGBY, he's got a Saladin, so his is going to go ahead and hit. That's his, that's his big gun. And here we go. Let's take a look at this next thing here. This is the first time that we're going to see where an officer ability sparked in the middle of a round. That's because Decius... His officer ability, plus 10% to damage each time the ship gets hit. This is one of those abilities where I talked about it's activated if something particular happens to your ship. So in this case, he was hit in the very first part of the round. So now Decius is going to activate and his damage is going to be increased by 10%. If we continue on down, you'll see where I was struck and I received damage, at which point I fired my second gun, which has two shots. And then we continue to proceed where Shadow, he shoots, and then Kairos, he shoots. And then we have Lady again. Um, we got RGBY again that shoots. And you'll notice that I have an ability that activates, which is Khan, his Savage Tenacity. So 4% chance, critical hit chances every time the ship gets hit. So again, that's going to be one of those officers that activates its ability because something else happened to it first. I can continue to go through all of this, but what you're going to see in the second round is all of those weapons that charge during the first round, one, if they hit 100%, they're now going to fire along with the other weapons that fire every single round. And this pattern will continue on until the end of the Armada and either you all die or the Armada dies. Now, just like when we were looking at a hostile combat log, if you were to back out, you can actually take a look at the details of your ship and the details of the Armada. You can also take a look at the details of all the members that were inside of your Armada. So let's assume that you and your teammate have a ship that are similar in strength and you died and that particular teammate didn't. You can actually take a look at what crew they had and you can kind of take a look at the stats and see, well, you know, where did this differ? What, what, what happened with mine? You can also take a look and see the damage that was received. It could be that their mitigation ability is higher than yours. And so although you guys are, you know, taking similar hits, that particular player is mitigating more damage at the very beginning. Again, mitigating that damage before it ever hits the shield in the hole. Which, as we said before, is what's ultimately going to help you last longer in a fight and in most cases win that fight. 
So that's going to wrap up the combat lock section. And I hope that helps you have a basic understanding of what you're actually looking at and what those numbers mean. I say it every week, but I am so thankful for all of you who have wonderful comments, who have been helpful, who's offered advice through comments on YouTube or sent me messages through Discord or through in-game. And I really can't do this without you all. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you so much for the support and the kind words. And also, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't done so yet, please make sure you do so. Also, remember, hit that like button. Tell your friends about it. Pass this information along. And if you have any ideas that you would like for me to use in the next show or maybe down the line, please feel free to message me. Well, that wraps up the end of this episode, and I hope you're enjoying the new arc as much as I have, and I hope that you got something from this video and the other videos before it. Last but not least, I say it every week, but please, please remember to shield. Because as we say in the game, it's either shield or share. <laughs>